What's going on everyone? It's Avtech and we have little Avtech joining us today for this review of this amazing laptop from MSI, the GS43VR Phantom Pro 14 inch gaming laptop. So as you can see, it's thin, it's light, but it also has the latest Pascal graphics. Yes, the GTX 1060, as well as the Skylake central processing unit, the i7 quad core. So really impressive stuff at first glance. So let's dive right into this review. In case you missed my unboxing, just the laptop, a cleaning cloth for the laptop, that 180 watt power adapter, and some MSI papers. So moving on to the aesthetics of the laptop, it has that sporty, edgy look with those angles in the aluminum lid. It has a plastic bottom, although with the plastic bottom, it will conduct less heat in those gaming sessions, so more comfortable to have on your lap. So I have managed to lull little awe to sleep. My review is so boring, so let me set the kitten down and get back to this review. Back to business, underneath that bottom panel is an M.2 SSD as well as a mechanical 2.5 inch hard drive disk and two 8GB sticks of DDR4 RAM, all three of which are accessible and removable. And as expected, the CPU and GPU are soldered on. Alright, well let's open up the GS43. It opens with ease and the top panel is aluminum, although it does have a bit of flex to it and the internal panel looks to be aluminum at first glance. However, it's plastic, so you will get a bit of flex if you press down pretty hard on the internal panel. So all in all, all things considered, the chassis is pretty decent. The hinge mechanism having just that right amount of tension, opening and closing without too much force. So connectivity is really the strong point of the Phantom Pro. On the back, having that mini display 1.2 to connect with convenience to an external display up to 4K 60 Hertz ready. On the left side, you have that ethernet port, charging port, USB 3.0, SD card reader, and headphone microphone audio connections. On the right side, you have a USB Type-C connector plus Thunderbolt 3. There we have another USB 3.0 port, HDMI 1.4 output, and that Kensington lock. Up on the top of the internal keyboard panel, you have a glossy triangular power button, and no worries, there's plenty of distance between that and the S key that you're not gonna be pressing it on accident at any time. For the keyboard, MSI has partnered with SteelSeries as usual that gives that premium typing experience with adequate key travel. It's a little too damp for my preference, although it's still pretty nice. It is lacking the number pad, but that's as expected given the exceptionally compact nature of the Phantom Pro. Also, it has red adjustable backlighting and a nice oversized font. The trackpad is smooth to touch, fingers glide easily, and picks up gestures quite nicely. It is a step up from most touchpads on laptops. However, at the end of the day, it's still a laptop touchpad. So you're going to want to use a mouse while gaming. So about that display, it's a 14 inch 1920 by 1080 p panel. The exact model from LG I'll leave on the screen right now for those of you that are interested. So it gets those wide viewing angles that you expect from IPS. It's also very vibrant and quite color accurate. Due to MSI's extensive factory calibration prior to shipping, so it has near full sRGB coverage and the brightness is more than adequate coming in at just under a 300 nit brightness average. And I have not noticed any light bleed and the matte finish was an excellent choice for this panel giving minimal glare and easier viewing than I would say with an overly glossy display when in the sun or with some lights behind you. And the bezels are pretty thin, however a little reduction in the bezels would have been more ideal for my taste. Moving up top to the 1080p webcam, it looks like such. For audio, the Phantom Pro has two 2 watt internal speakers by Dyn Audio. It has no subwoofer, so don't expect to throw a party from two 2 watt speakers, but keeping your expectations in line, they are impressive for what they are and above average in terms of quality. So this particular SKU really impressed me with its storage options. Having that M.2 128 gigabyte solid state drive, as well as that two and a half inch 7200 RPM mechanical hard drive, both of which are accessible, swappable, and upgradable. So the load weight and boot times with this drive combo are pretty fast as well as the sequential read and write times. So let's talk gaming performance. This 14 inch powerhouse from MSI packs a serious punch with its desktop grade Pascal 10 series GTX 1066 gigabyte graphics chip 
that's only clocked very slightly lower than the desktop GTX 1060. And pairing that with that Skylake i7 6700 HQ central processing unit really excels getting over 60 frames per second in almost every AAA title at ultra settings. So some examples, Overwatch, 100 FPS ultra settings. And this would all be on that 1080p display, Doom Ultra near 80 frames per second, near 70 frames per second in Rise of the Tomb Raider on Ultra, 70 FPS Fallout 4 Ultra, 90 FPS Shadow of Mordor on Ultra, and Witcher 3 Ultra, hair works on, I'm getting around 45 frames per second. So I think 1080p suits the 14 inch form factor quite well at 157 pixels per inch, and all games running very smoothly and comfortably on the GTX 1060 getting above what the 980M would achieve and a little below what the desktop GTX 980 achieves. So that all said, this 14 inch powerhouse is also a VR champion. Having that Pascal graphics with all that connectivity and great that it's so lightweight really amazes you that you can have such a capable VR machine at under four pounds and at under one inch. So in terms of system noise, the Phantom Pro has a 45 millimeter fan on each side. Out of the box at idle, the fans are barely noticeable as well as during light productivity tasks. MSI does allow different fan profiles that you can also monitor and change externally. So here's a brief demonstration of the fans at idle versus at load. For the internal battery, it has a 61 watt hour battery that takes around two and a half hours to charge to full with the included 180 watt power adapter. At full charge, you'll get close to an hour and 30 in gaming and for productivity expects a little over four hours. And thankfully you can adjust the power settings and the battery will yield much over four hours for productivity work. So what's the final verdict? I'm giving this laptop two thumbs up. So this form factor, such a small footprint, 14 inches, under one inch, under four pounds in weight, VR ready, 60 Hertz 4K ready as well, and that Thunderbolt 3 connectivity and getting such amazing performance at $1,500. What's not to like? It's pretty amazing. MSI has done it again. You guys know what to do, everyone. Be sure, drop this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you like MSI, comment if you have a comment or a suggestion for a future video. This is John from Tech. It's been awesome, guys. I'll see you in the next one.